Today, we have a guided tour by Castro Land Trust Conservation Director Mark. We will look at a future park under development in Eastern Hampton, the new Mount Tom North Trollhead Park. We will then take a hike to see a historical site, Erie House Ruins on top of Mount Nanotuck, which is in Holyoke. You can find the links to the information mentioned in this video in the description box below. I am Iris, a realtor and a landlord in the Pioneer Valley, Western Massachusetts. This channel is about living and investing in the valley. If you are new here, make sure to click the subscribe button. We first walked along the power line. Castro Land Trust and the town of Easter Hampton purchased 23 acres of conservation land between the power line and the East Street in 2019. There will be a new park in this location called the Mount Tom North Trailhead Park, and it will be opened next summer, 2022. This new park creates a good buffer between the East Street residences and the 2,000 acres of Mount Tom State Reservation, which is managed by Department of Conservation and Recreation, DCR. This is the East Street entrance to our future park, Mount Tom North Trollhead Park. The new entrance will be a much easier and a better entrance to the many hiking trails in the Mount Tom State Reservation, including part of the New England National Scenic Trail. We walked to the Overlook and the Gathering Place in the new park. This park is handicap accessible. Great views here. Now we will follow the New England National Scenic Trail, also called the M&M Trail, to go up to the top of Mount Nanotuck to see the ruins of the historic Erie House Hotel and the Resort. This section of the trail was once the car path for the guests to ride horse-drawn carriages or wagons up to Erie House. The ride costs 25 cents each way. I needed to point out that this photo and the other old photos in this video are taken from Mr. Leonard Loss's Holyoke History blog article. He very kindly lets me use these photos. The car pass is not a long walk, less than two miles. Bonus of the day, we met this lovely juvenile newt on the road. One hiking group mate, Becca, told us that a newt in this phase of development is called an app. We are almost there, only 0.3 miles to the Erie House ruins. There's a flat lookout area near the top of the mountain. We get to enjoy the splendid view of the Connecticut River and the Oxbow below. The view probably hasn't changed much since the Erie House was built. Well, Interstate Highway 91 on the north side of Mount Tom wasn't there when Erie House opened 160 years ago. Some of the houses on the tops of different mountains were popular in New England during the mid to late 1800s. Many visitors traveled to mountain tops during summer to relax and to stay cool in days before air conditioning. Mount Nanotuck's spectacular view attracted visitors from all over. Holyoke entrepreneur William Street and their partner built a three-story, 12-room hotel with five guest rooms on this scenic site in the spring of 1861. They called it the Erie House. 
The Erie House had a competition, so Mr. Street bought more land and built more facilities for picnics and activities such as croquet. There was a pavilion for large festival parties, concerts, and even roller skating. Here we see a clam bake gathering with a band playing. A long promenade was constructed for guests to stroll along while taking in the panoramic view of the valley. By 1882, the hotel had 30 guest rooms. The Uri House enjoyed success for 40 years. But it accidentally burned down in 1901. Two horses belonging to Mr. Street died. He cremated them since it's too hard to dig a large hole and bury them in the Rocky Mountain. He thought that the fire was out, but the fire rekindled at night. Consuming the pavilion and the hotel, Mr. Street didn't have insurance to rebuild, so that was the end of the Erie House. Group photo at the top, and we will be back. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, a like and a subscribe will make a big difference for this channel. Thanks again. See you next time.